the creator of a very popular game on Roblox is currently under fire for instances of grooming and pedophilia and questionable things like that. And his name is Dev Bucket. He made the game Kingdom Life 2. And talking about this is weird to me because I remember being in like maybe fifth grade and coming home from school to play Kingdom Life 1 for hours, just hours on end. It was my favorite game at the time. And just thinking that this person somehow has created a game and is using his power essentially to talk to underage girls is moderately concerning. So going through Dev Bucket has mishandled his powers. He owns a large Discord server as well as this Roblox game that I happened to go on just to see what it was like because obviously it's been years since I've played Roblox. And he is using his server and the Roblox game to prey on underage girls. There have been multiple occasions where Dev Bucket has flirted with or sent inappropriate messages to and assaulted a minor girl. A minor is just someone who is underage. Um, one of the examples is a two-year-long relationship from January 2018, and the girl involved is named Lydia, and she was 15 at the time. Dev Bucket would have been either 18 or 19 when it began. Hmm. Which is gross and concerning. She's not the age of consent, and he is technically the age of an adult at this time. But needless to say, a lot of illegal activities happen during this um, relationship, if you could even call it that. So during the relationship, there were multiple times where Lydia and Dev Bucket met up in person, and he pressured her into sexual acts. We have Discord messages as evidence that I will put up on the screen here. And Lydia has had unwanted sexual advances from Dev Bucket during their time together in person. When they were together discussing their age difference, it is disturbing that he knows it's wrong and feels guilty about it, but decided to do it anyways. So if you missed the Discord message whenever it first popped up on screen, I'm going to read it. Lydia says, I'm going to go get ready for bed. Be right back. Dev Bucket says, MK. I just feel guilty, I guess, because I feel or become more hyper aware of our age difference. And it's not like it's a problem, but I still feel wrong about it. Lydia says, yeah, I understand. So that said, it's obvious that he's aware he's doing something wrong. And my personal philosophy is if you know you're talking to somebody underage, you never escalate it to anything romantic, anything sexual. That's wrong. You start grooming a person whenever that happens. So him saying that he's fully aware of the age difference and he feels guilty about it, but he doesn't stop himself shows that he is lacking in self-control. And to be frank, it's kind of sad because there's no telling how many other people he's done this to being fully aware that they're younger than him and he has power over them. So moving on to the next points, we have evidence of an in-person meeting. Lydia says, so you're getting here at like 2.30 p.m. tomorrow? Dev Bucket says, 3.30. No, wait. 3.15. First train is at 2.50 p.m. your time. I'll text you when I arrive. Lydia says, okay. By the way, I think the first time you check into the hotel, you should just go by yourself. Like, check in, get your key. I'll come with you to the hotel and everything. I just think to, like, avoid confusion. Dev Bucket says, Yes. I was going to suggest you stay outside. The first time. I wouldn't take that long to drop my luggage and lock the room. So that's our evidence that they were indeed planning to meet in person. Lydia was still underage at this time. You know, a minor. And Dev Bucket still above, you know, minor age. Over 18. And... There is talk that once they get to the hotel, they were planning to do sexual acts, which is my next screenshot. Dev Bucket says, there was this one time when we were like laying next to each other. I was like on your side. We were kissing and my one hand was just under them on your belly. And I was just yelling in my head, do it, pussy. 
do it. Do it. Come on. Up. Don't take that out of context. I was just so scared that it was too much, but Jesus. Def Bucket saying these things, it sounds like he was intending on uh, essentially groping this child. And I'm kind of concerned that she agreed to meet up with him and go to a hotel. For those of you who don't know, if you've never met someone before and they're trying to get you to go somewhere, that's one of the things you want to avoid if you're essentially about to be kidnapped. Because whenever you get to a second location, your chances of survival drop abruptly. Obviously, Lydia did not get, you know, sex trafficked, murdered, raped, any of that. Well, she might have gotten raped. Um, We'll get into that in a bit. But still, it is really alarming that she went out to this hotel with this guy. Knowing that she is underage and he is not. And they were intending on doing things together. Another key to this story is Jenny. Jenny is another underage girl that he had a sexual encounter with. This part of the messages is talking about, you know, vaginas. So definitely skip ahead if you don't want to hear or see that, but who cares? Honestly, if you're watching this video, you've probably heard enough disturbing stuff as is. Def Bucket says, no, they don't. Mara was hella loose and Jenny was, well, too small? Lydia says, oh, I see. Def Bucket says, when my dick was, like, hanging in front of your vagina, I kept telling myself, don't, 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 don't. Now, I don't know who needs to hear this or anything, but this is statutory rape, which is somebody over the age of 18 having sexual intercourse with somebody under the age of 18. Sure, you could argue Romeo and Juliet laws are in play, but I'm going to say they weren't because... I don't think that these people had a true, real relationship, and it was just kind of like, I know I have power over you, so I'm going to do what I wish. So Dev Bucket is clearly known for grooming people who are underage, having intercourse with them, knowing that they are underage. And so far, that's, that's what we have covered. But there's more. How exciting. Something I never wanted to hear. Something I wish nobody has to go through, because it's horrible to be groomed especially as a young girl with somebody you look up to. So this one is a little bit small, but Lydia says, good. Dev Bucket said, that actually does make me wonder, how old do you want to be at least? Lydia says, 18. Dev Bucket says, really? Lydia says, yeah. Dev Bucket says, because then there'd be no, like, complications? Lydia says, anything below I was 18 is considered statutory rape in the eyes of the law. Def Bucket says, yeah, we should be careful with it. Lydia says, what we have right now is perfectly fine. So this was obviously not perfectly fine. This is grooming of a child. And even though Def Bucket says, yeah, I'm okay with waiting until you're 18, he was not because whenever he met up with Lydia, whenever she was 15, he did indeed have sexual intercourse with her, which grooming is usually just done you know, in this day and age online because it's easier for people to get into the minds of young people. But he groomed her online at first and then in real life and then proceeded to take it to the next level and have sex with her, which is wrong. It's cruel. It's a child. She cannot consent. And I truly hope this person went to jail because I checked through Roblox, Twitter, Discord, anywhere I could find this man's name. And he has wiped himself off the internet. In this screen cap, Lydia says, JK, JK. Dev Bucket says, hug. All of those are part of the package, I hope. Along with other unlockables? Lydia says, yeah, I'm close to level 18, so not long now. Referring to her age. Dev Bucket says, I love how we both are literally at the point where literally age is the only thing really stopping us. Lydia says, yeah. Dev Bucket says, Uses literally twice too soon after one another, so hates self. Yeah, it's reverse time. Yeah, if I control reverse, I would want fork knife and Mark ass Brownlee. I have no idea what this last part means that he said, but he's still grooming her, building up the relationship so that she trusts him more. And 
it's a bit too late to be waiting until level 18, as she called it, because at this point, he had already met up with her. In this screenshot, Dev Bucket says, But I do feel bad about it. Lydia says, What about it makes you feel bad? Dev Bucket says, It makes me feel disgusting and perverted. Dev Bucket says, Well, basically, we talked about some details, and Amber mentioned something pretty important. She's from Canada, which lowers the age of consent from 18 to 16 which means she is not a minor, which means her friend did not commit a felony, which means her friend didn't need to get banned. Lydia says, oh. Def Bucket says, so yeah. I also gave her a small lecture. She accused me of tossing the friendship. So that last screenshot we looked at, it seems like he's justifying having relations with a minor. It doesn't matter what age the country has set. Since it's Canada and the age of consent is 16 instead of 18, it's, it's more of a morality thing at this point, I feel. Because if you feel morally justified to mess around with someone who is underage in your country because of that, then there is something wrong. So since I'm running out of video content to put behind this, I'm going to have to separate this into a two-part video. Because there is another girl involved that is also a minor. And there's a few other people involved who are in his Discord server. So... For now, I'm just clicking through different profiles that I was able to find. His Twitter, his Discord, and his Roblox accounts are all shut down, but it seems like his YouTube account is still currently open, and I figured we'll just scroll through and see what he's making here, because this is apparently where he puts progress for his builds, and it's it's not a lot of stuff. I went through his videos, his playlists, community tab channels all of that because anything that we could find on this person is essentially valuable information i don't think that anyone who preys on young girls should have the right to walk about freely amongst everyone else it is a disgusting thing and i understand a lot of people feel like chris hansen is a scumbag himself but i feel like we should bring back to catch a predator type things on television not these youtube people who either don't alert police or anyone about it or the ones who just say if you talk we'll let you go i don't like that i'm not a big fan of that i'd prefer them to actually work with police and in his about section i know we're jumping topics like crazy in his about section he listed his email account so i figured what better to do than hop on the good old google machine type his first and last name that's listed there and see what comes up. I don't think that this is the same person at all. So I started going through and trying different searches. Because that just seems like it would warrant better results for me. In the end, it really did not. This person is like scrubbed clear off the internet all the way. He's gone. He is not coming back. And happily, I can say that Roblox banned him. He got banned from his own Discord server, and his personal website is down. So he's really not doing anything. Maybe he's not deleting his YouTube because he can't get into it, or maybe he just forgot that it exists. <laughs> so here's some clips that I found on Twitter of his personal Discord account that was associated with the Roblox game he has, Kingdom Life 2. and. Nobody, and I mean nobody, was happy whenever they found out that he was creeping around young girls.
welcome to DJ Ricky V Y69 Project Perform KSG 